On Friday night, the Maximum Fighting Championship invaded the Mayfield Conference Center in Edmonton with MFC 30 up close and personal, featuring a main event between Drew Fickett and Brian Cobb, who's a late replacement for Hermes Franca. Come on! Yeah! Come on! Cobb got the better of the stand-up in the early going until Knight Rider took his back and held on as Cobb did a front flip onto the ground. From there, Fickett secured a body triangle and worked for the rear naked choke. After surviving the position for several minutes, Cobb spun into Fickett's guard and rained down vicious ground and pound, forcing the referee to stop the fight at the 444 mark of the first round. Are wow. you kidding me, Brian Cobb? What a comeback! The co-main event featured a welterweight rematch from UFC 69 between Marcus Davis and Pete Spratt. After eating a hard shot from Spratt, Davis landed a huge knee that opened up a couple of the eye of the secret weapon. Second round saw Davis score with three takedowns, as Spratt was able to return to his feet each time. In a sign of sportsmanship, the two embraced at the beginning of the third round and went right back to trying to take each other's heads off. After a three-round war, Davis was awarded the unanimous decision on scores of 29-28 twice and 30-27. In another rematch, Sheldon Westcott faced Thomas Denny after the first bout was ruled a draw. Both men felt they had won the original meeting, but it was Westcott who came out looking better in their second go-around. Westcott used takedowns and ground and pound to wear out Denny. After being warned about punches to the back of the head, Westcott did have a point taken away in the third round, but it didn't affect the outcome as Westcott was given the unanimous decision with scores of 29-27 across the board. Diego Lima continued his undefeated streak as he knocked out Jamie Toney with powerful ground and pound at the 247 mark of the first round. Diego Lima drops Jamie Toney and then finishes this fight. In a strange decision, Robert Washington was originally awarded the victory over Curtis DeMars. However, the commission overturned the decision after learning that the 30-27 score was in DeMars' favor. And in the opening bout of the televised card, striker Andreas Spang showed off his submission skills against Cody Crane, locking in the guillotine twice and finally getting the submission at the 118 mark of the first round.